Welcome to Electroloop here at Electronica, Productronica. I'm joined by Pad Manaba, who is the general manager, I guess, of the new factory that you've just built. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the, the factory and what sort of uh, uh, products you're making there? Yeah. Um, uh, hi, everyone. Um, I'm Pad Manaba. Uh, this is a new factory of Electroloop, uh, which we have said is a state-of-the-art factory. Um, with uh, similar capabilities what we have in UK and Beijing. We have replicated the similar setup here. Uh, prominently, looking at the volumes which are growing, uh, we decided on the major products like resins, conformal coatings, and uh, thermal management products are going to be started in this factory. And with a lot of uh, value addition from Indian local suppliers as well as you know, the machine trees which we have planted here. So you're making all the, the, the coatings, and all the resins, are you making any of the cleaning chemistries too? Come again? Sorry. Are you making any of the cleaning chemistries that um, Electrolube uses? Yeah, that is something that um, is growing up a lot in India. So, uh, especially the water-based uh, cleaning solutions, aquatic solution, which is uh, biodegradable and environmental friendly kind of a solution which we are offering. So, most of the EMS companies are preferring to convert from regular IPA to the water-based. So, that is another big setup that we have it for water-based now. Yeah, I mean, historically, I don't think India has, has been mostly a, a no-clean zone. I mean, are they really starting to do a lot of aqueous cleaning now? Sorry, I didn't follow. Uh, sorry. Historically, um, India has been more a no-clean zone. Uh, they are starting to do more cleaning chemistries uh, in, in India. Yes. Uh, yeah, that is uh, because of the MNC culture and then a lot of um, companies moving to India and then we have to catch up the pace. Um, we, we have to deliver products, world, world standards. So that is catching up a lot nowadays in India. So that is we are moving towards those technologies now. So um, that's fine. I want to talk to now to Alistair, who's got uh, to tell us about some of the new products you're bringing into uh, the India market. So thank you very much, Padanaba. Thank you. Okay, so I'm joined now by Alistair Little. He's the Global Business Technical Director for the Resins Division. Uh, welcome, Alistair. Thank you very much. Good to meet you. Thank you. Uh, so we've got a couple of uh, new resin products that you brought out specifically for the LED business. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of them and, and show me some samples? Um, basically, last year we launched a UR5634, which has proved to be quite successful with some uh, many of our customers. And so to supplement that, we've now launched two uh, further resins, UR5638 and UR5639. Mm -hmm. And this is our existing resin, UR5634. As you can see, it's a nice, clear, hard, tough resin, specifically designed for uh, potting of LED components. Um, then to supplement that, for people who have a, either want a softer resin or have a larger unit to pot, we developed um, 5638, mm -hmm. which is a bit more um, pliable. It's a lot more pliable and a lot softer, mm -hmm. which means it is uh, much easier to um, pot. And because it has a longer gel time for larger units, it's particularly optimized. Right. What about yellowing on these things? Do you because they are um, aliphatic polyurethane systems, the yellowing potential of these is considerably reduced compared to epoxies. Okay. Um, we also have a second new resin, UR5639, which is a lower viscosity material. So for applications where the uh, LED structure and the component structure geometry is much more complicated, it allows it to flow far better and far easier and also still has a degree of uh, flexibility in that resin. Okay, so this is much more, much more pliable, this one. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, fine. So I believe you've got two more potting compounds that you're using for, for um, uh, you know, high temperature uh, reliability applications. Can you tell us about them? Yes, certainly. We have uh, two epoxy resin systems. We have one which is a uh, field epoxy system, uh, ER2224. Mm -hmm. That is particularly designed for applications which require thermal transfer properties. So again, LEDs are particularly in mind for this, but also there are another other automotive applications, particularly under the hood, where um, temperature sensitivity is particularly critical as it allows the temperature from the component, the heat from the components to be dissipated quite rapidly and with comparative ease. Right. What sort of temperature range does it go up to? It goes up to approximately 150, uh, um, with short excursions up to 170. 
for the higher temperature market, we have a, a second resin ER2223, which is a low viscosity, high temperature resin, which will go up to 180 continuous and will also um, go up to excursions of uh, 210 for up to 30 minutes. Right, so this is the, the black um, yes. uh, clotting compound? Yes, it's a black clotting compound. It's a low viscosity compound, so it's as easy to pot into complicated um, structures and components and will uh, cure quite easily at temperature, about an hour at 100 degrees centigrade, and you have a, a perfectly cured system. So there you have it, a whole new range of resins there from Electroloop. Uh, Alistair, I want to thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much for your time as well, Trevor.